as you can see, I dyed my hair using Cream of Nature. And I'll insert a picture here. And, and as you can see, it's a it's a bit orange. A bit orange. A bit orange. Yeah. So I decided that I was gonna use the Revlon frosting kit to get myself highlights. Um so we're gonna say a quick prayer. Jesus worked this out, amen. And so I did a test strand, it looks okay. And so I'm gonna try to do a bulge. And I know that I'm a professional now because I've watched uh, at least three hours of Brad Mundo videos. And if you're watching Brad, hi. <laughs> um, so this is gonna turn out great. Um, don't mind my hair now because I actually sectioned it off. You see, uh huh, because I watched the video. Um, so we're gonna start. So I've sectioned it off. I split it in half here. And it's not that big of a section because I have hair in the back that I already tied off, right? Because I'm just going to do the front. Um, my son told me not to do it. Um, so I'm just rooting for myself right now. And I appreciate if you guys said a little prayer and root for me too because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I do know what I'm doing because I watch Bread Monday. So, all right. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, y'all. So... I put a hair dyeing shirt on. <coughs> what? Um, what? I have my clamps. So it's just the front half, because you can see I did the back. I don't know if you can see it. So, all right. One go star for sectioning it off, right? Huh? Huh? Brand says split it down the middle. It is split down the middle. It's split. Um, now, it's time for the funny part. Frosting Glow in Blondes. And it actually lifted a little. But I only left it on for 10 minutes. So, <laughs> I'm going to try to make sure that I don't fry my hair. But the good thing about it is, see, I have roots and I did it on purpose because if all of us fails, we can always make chocolate, right? So, all right, so this is my mixing bowl. I did not use theirs. I bought one from Sally's. And I'm just mixing it, following the directions. It seems like pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, so let's get started. All right, look at this. So this is the consistency. Kind of reminds me of like pancake batter. I'm sweating. I'm so nervous. I, I just don't know. Um, Because I know he was like, you know, if it turns brassy orange, you use the ash, the A. And then if you use, if it turns yellow, you use this. And I, I actually kind of like the orange. Okay? I do. So my plan is to have like blondish tips, right? with a little bit of streaking. So that's why I thought balayage would fit really cute with this. So we're gonna go with it. And of course, once again, I'm a professional because I watch Brad Mondo. And I know what to do now. So all right. I bought this as well from, from Sally's. Um, so I know he said do it at an angle, right? So angle would be like this. Mm -hmm. Angle. Uh -huh. Oh, look at her. She has an angle. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to make this. 
this work. My hair is not that long. I'm going to just try to pick out little pieces. And I'm just going to let y'all watch. I'm not going to talk anymore. All right, so here we go. Whew. All right. So I know that to do my roots, right, guys? Brad said don't do your roots first. Because if you do your roots first, you are definitely, definitely going to have some issues because um, yeah, like we're not supposed to be touching our roots first because you're going to have hot roots and from the heat from your scalp, uh-huh. Brush. Look at me. Uh huh. Ah! No going back now. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna have hot roots, and your roots will lighten a lot faster than the ends of your hair, and you're gonna be mad at yourself because you're gonna look crazy. And I want you to brag my new videos to know that we don't want that. Obviously, I didn't watch enough Brad Mondo videos because I'm natural and my hair is short. I totally could have just applied it with my hand. What, of course, having a glove on, but stay tuned. I'm gonna do right now. Y'all ignore that, okay? Ignore that. All right, for the last two pieces. Low, low, low. Y'all pray for me. Definitely. 
she looks like brassy. So I'm gonna add a little bit more back. Bach. Bach. You know, I actually probably should have stopped here, but <laughs> stay tuned. Put them back on there. I kind of like the fire and ice look. That's kind of look I was going for. Fiery blonde. To give like a fall balayage. Do something different so we don't all look like triplets around here. So it's like all the girls look the same. I don't know if anybody else knows that. I didn't. Let me make sure it's covered up. Did it? Is it covered up? Oh, no. Can't miss my ears. Can't be looking at a boy out there and crazy. All right. Oh. Woo. Ish, look at me in the blur. I actually sat on the dryer this time. Let's see. Oh yeah. That did something that time, so I'll be right back. Let me wash this out. All right, so I'm about to apply the T18 to this yellow hair. I'm gonna see how this goes. So I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, y'all. These are my results. Now, it's not exactly a balayage, but I'm gonna do a little 360. So it is a gradient on the side like I wanted. Um, but don't talk about me too bad, Brad. But I did the best that I could. But overall, I'm rocking it. I like it. it it's getting what it, it's supposed to give, okay? It's the lightest blood I've ever been. And just what we got, this what we're working with. So I tried. I tried. So anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. See you next time.